So here we go. We've left the Shoshone River and we're headed up the highway toward East Yellowstone. Out of bear country into more bear country. <laughs> yes, lots of bears. Hopefully we'll see some buffalo too. A beautiful part of the drive going from Cody to Yellowstone. Just really, really nice highway. Really is. Steep grade, driving up into the park. There's beautiful canyon off to the left. So as we get to the top, we stop, took a couple pictures at some lakes. Really, really nice lakes. Including the huge lake of Lake Yellowstone. We decided we found some boondocking outside the Tetons and we uh, headed there for the day to sightsee. Nice place. We've been to the Tetons before. You know, we need to do some serious hiking in that. We actually plan to go back once more. It's one of my favorites, but we haven't gotten to hike much. What we did do is go back to our pizza place, had a great lunch with a view. Didn't see much wildlife there this time. Of course, we were there in the afternoon, so probably the best time for that would be early in the day. And we were in late spring last time. We saw lots of moose and some bear and fox. Hey there. How's it going? Wanted to give you an update where we're at and, and what's been going on. So we're about two weeks in, not quite two weeks now. And already lots of learning lessons and... Been fun though. Been good. good. Mm -hmm. so. And it's been spending a lot of time just reorganizing and getting rid of stuff that we totally didn't need to bring. So anyway, yeah, beautiful spot to stop. There's some rain coming, so we're going to be moving on tomorrow, going into Yellowstone yep. for a night. Yep. Hit and, the hot springs. And moving our way north. Um, not going to do Glacier. We totally wanted to. Yes, we had dinner last night with a ranger here in the Tetons, and he was great. And he taught us lots of good stuff about wildlife and the park and Glacier and the fires. So we'll stay away. It became very stormy. We were sort of getting ready to buckle down. Obviously there was a fire there a couple of years ago. We met some great folks who have been boondocking there for 40 years and um, they just taught us so much, including not to come and park at these places and run your generator all night long. So of course I tried my generator and ironically it wasn't working. So I had to troubleshoot it, and in the manual it gives some codes with a flashing light that I'm trying to count right here. Looks like I'm counting on my fingers, but... Looks like it. Yeah, I caught him in the act. Yeah, well, I was using my toes too, and you can't really see that because I have socks on. Ha <laughs> So we did some exploring and found, you know, the, the forest recovering from its fire. Lots of wildlife in this area. One of our boondocking friends was fishing game and he also taught us a lot about the wildlife. He was calling the elk. We could hear them rummaging through the brush at night. Yeah, that Snake River, it, it flows through the Tetons as well. So with the rainstorms coming in, we head back into Yellowstone. Snow is predicted in the high country, so we're hoping to do some sightseeing before we can find some camping in the park. So we went straight to Old Faithful 
and we were hiking around the steam vents and the boiling pots around the backside there. You see that lodge in the background? That is a fantastic place. If you get an opportunity, you have to go inside it just to see it. We didn't have our camera when we went in. You, you should really visit. It was beautiful. So we're hustling over there, and you can't see the rain falling, but we're getting a little bit on the wet side, saved by the trees right now. It's a beautiful pool, full of rainbow colors. It was so steamy because of the cold. So we decide it's time to go find some camping. We're heading out. To see if we stay dry and find a place to camp, stay tuned. Follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Look for us on Etsy and Instagram. At Roadward Bound. Bye.